Setting Financial Goals Note-Taking Guide. Let me open up the note-taking guide here. We'll get started. Okay, so you should have your setting financial goals note taking guide in front of you. So, what's your first reaction to this statement? If you don't know where you're going, how do you expect to get there? We all need to set goals. The definition of a goal, the end result is something a person intends to acquire, achieve, do, reach, or accomplish sometime in the near or distant future. Think of setting goals like creating a roadmap. How can goal setting benefit you? Well, for one, it creates a path and provides guidance for your future. It also helps make the life you want to live a reality. It helps with decision making and it helps create well being. Think about how goal setting can benefit your life. Is it realistic to write goals for every decision you make? Well, we have routine decisions that we do every day and we have major decisions. So let's look at the differences between those. A routine decision is a daily decision that doesn't require a lot of thought. For example, what to wear in the morning. We wouldn't need to write a goal for that. A major decision would require thought, effort, time, and personal discipline, such as what to do after high school graduation. That we might want to write a goal for. So routine decisions, is it realistic to write goals for routine decisions? No. What about for major decisions? Yes, it's important to write goals for major decisions. So to goal or not to goal. Here's some examples. Let's go through and decide whether we should write a goal for these or not. When will you purchase a car? Well, a car is a major decision, so that would be yes, write a goal. When you will complete your homework this evening? That's a routine decision, so no, no goal. What you will eat for lunch? That's another routine decision, so no goal. Which extracurricular activity you will participate in? Now, this could be either routine or it could be uh, a major goal because if it's an extracurricular activity that requires some expense that you have to spend some money, then you might have to plan out how you're gonna pay for that. So that would make that um, a decision that you would wanna write a goal for. How can goal setting help you manage your money? Well, goal setting is important to financial planning the definition of financial planning is managing money continuously through your life in order to reach financial goals. The definition of financial goals is specific objectives or goals that are accomplished through financial planning. And setting financial goals will help you make day-to-day -day spending decisions. So let's talk about the elements of a successful goal. When we talk about goals, we use an acronym called SMART. The S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for attainable, R stands for realistic, T stands for time bound. So let's talk about S specific. It is a clearly defined end result. So if it's a financial goal, you need to state exactly what plan you have for the money involved. Here's an example. Lacey's current goal, I will reduce my debt. How can we make that specific? We would change it to, I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan. Now we're saying specifically, this is for a car loan instead of debt. That makes, makes it specific. Let's look at measurable. This determines exactly when you will know that the goal has been met. For a financial goal, all you have to do is state the exact dollar amount. Let's look at an example. Lacey's current goal, I will reduce the amount of the amount I owe on my car loan. How do you make that measurable? I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan by $1,000. That makes it measurable. Attainable, 
create a step-by-step -step plan outlining exactly how the goal can be reached. So if it's a financial goal, it often is determined by a spending plan or budget. Here's Lacey's example. Her current goal is, I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan by 1,000. How can we make that attainable? Well, Lacey has an extra $100 to spend. So I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan by 1,000 by paying an extra $100 per month. So that's telling us where we're gonna get this $1,000. This that makes it attainable. Realistic, how do you determine if a goal is unrealistic? Well, you examine the consequences of the goal and then you consider the trade-offs and opportunity costs. The definition of a trade-off is giving up one thing for another. Definition of opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative that you will give up as a result of your plan. So here's an example. What could Lacey do with the $100 besides spend it on her car loan? Well, her next best option is to save the 100. That would be the trade-off. Which decision should, should Lacey make? Well, determine what the value or the opportunity cost of the trade-off is to her. Paying off her car loan is more important to Lacey than any other use of her money. That would be the opportunity cost. So for example, I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan by 1,000 by paying an extra 100 per week. And to make this realistic, Lacey has determined that paying her car loan is more important than any other use of her money. The opportunity cost of paying her car loan <coughs> is higher than the alternative of saving that money. All right, and how do we make it time bound? <coughs> Excuse me. You specifically state when the goal will be reached. Consider whether your goals are short term or long term. A short term goal is attained in less than one year. A long term goal is attained in more than one year. For a financial goal, make sure to consider your long-term financial needs when setting financial goals. So Lacey's example, her current goal, I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan by 1,000 by paying an extra 100 per week. And to make it time bound, I will reduce the amount I owe on my car loan by 1,000 in 10 weeks by paying an extra 100 per, per month. So summary, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Specific, state exactly what's done with the money involved. Measurable, write the exact dollar amount. Attainable, create a step-by-step -step plan outlining exactly how the goal can be reached. Realistic, think through the trade-offs and opportunity costs to analyze the consequences of your goal to make sure it isn't attain unattainable. And time-bound, specifically state when the goal will be reached. Okay?